Hello everyone, my name is Diana. Welcome if you're new. Thank you for joining me today. I'm super excited to share this first part one fall decorate with me and thrift haul. So today I will be sharing of the items that I have thrifted and uh, little mini vignettes of how I style them. So to start off here, you can see the base that I have here is a thrifted scarf. Um, beautiful colors. You see the cream, the brown, and the gray. Um, I did thrift this for uh, $5.49 at Value Village. Um, my friends in the United States will probably find this at uh, Savers. That's what you call them there. So I found these beautiful um, frames. I really love these. I got these both for $3.99. Um, so I've been thrifting for fall items, um, vintage inspired or some things are vintage and antique par um, items. And uh, this is one of the first items I want to share with you. So it's just beautiful frames. I love the design here. Quite gorgeous. I love using these for layering. Um, and um, they just make a beautiful backdrop when I am using it for vignettes that I will be showing you shortly here. This one here is just stunning. Um, I love the color of this wood and this inlay here. The frame here also is a beautiful beige linen. Also on my thrifting adventures, I found this uh, beautiful, looks like a print, stunning uh, buildings here on the water. The mat is a beautiful color along with the frame. And I got that thrifting for uh, $4.99. Um, Value Village has seemed to get the hint about the prices and their prices have come down quite a bit. So this is one thing I um, really love and uh, just looks beautiful in a vignette as a backdrop. One thing I always look for when I go thrifting is old books. So I head to the literature section first uh, to see what I can find. Uh, these books in particular caught my eye. I wish there was more of them in the series, um, but I will take what I find. Um, so the color, uh, this black, the way it pops off this kind of brown uh, beige color, a little bit of gold here, um, were particularly beautiful. Um, so I love using these four vignettes and decorating with them and shelf styling. Um, these books were copyright 1950, so that just made them uh, vintage and that just uh, made me pretty happy that I found them. I also wanted to share these books with you. Uh, you can see that they are well-worn, used, loved. Um, the edges are uh, frayed and uh, the pages are definitely worn. Um, so this book here uh, was published in 1873, um, stunning. And um, I found two of them. And these two I actually found at the Salvation Army thrift store and uh, they were only $2.99 each. Uh, so certainly I had to grab those. And uh, we'll be using those uh, decorating for sure. All right, so this is the last book I'm going to show you, but I did want to share this one. And maybe I've shared this before. Um, again, the beautiful old uh, coloring, um, this worn out look here. Uh, the binding is absolutely stunning. Um, I love this. Um, and you can see that the edge here has such a gorgeous design. Beautiful old book. And when I opened this up, I found this inside. Uh, this was quite stunning. So this is from uh, June 1901, but this is actually uh, a little certificate, but there is no uh, copyright on this. So I know this book is definitely antique. 
uh, which is just, you know, wonderful to add to my collection. This one I paid a little bit more for, um, $5.99, but uh, as soon as I saw this here, I knew it was well worth it to add to my collection. All right, so I was thrifting last week and I do love brass. I stumbled upon this gorgeous horse. Um, I love the style, his tail, his mane, the detail here. Um, he's very, very heavy. Um, so he's uh, probably solid brass, um, gorgeous. Um, you can see there's some uh, patina verdigris on him already. Um, I did get to wash him already, so he's all fresh, ready to do for some shelf styling. Um, I do like doing it with books. Um, just gives that nice little cozy feel. Um, but he was uh, a stunner that I could not uh, pass up. Uh, he was only $5.99, so maybe a little bit more than normal, but um, uh, this was definitely an original piece. So along with this one, I also found this horse here. Uh, again, heavy, I believe it's brass. Um, it's probably, um, by the look of the uh, base here, it was uh, maybe on a um, trophy or something, um, but uh, absolutely stunning. He was only $4.99 and uh, I couldn't pass him up either. While I was going through the uh, bag wall as they call it um i found this uh quite heavy uh candle snuffer um the detail's really pretty i like the little curve on the end and i only found this uh for 2.99 so i was quite happy with that as well so i love clocks and i saw this one during my uh thrifting adventures and uh it just gave off the vibes of being very old vintage looking i don't think it is but i do love the roman numerals on the face um it seems to be wood and uh very pretty um so i love to put this uh again on books or shelves or anywhere um it's just a, a nice little piece it's light. Um, I probably paid a little too much for it, but um, it was a unique one and you usually can't find these very often. So um, I can't wait to uh, decorate with that. So one thing I was on the hunt for and not looking for specifically was a chess board or a checkers board. Um, I found this one at a flea market uh, just uh, this past week. Uh, beautiful, nice wood. I love the deep brown here. And it also came with a, a little box of wooden checkers. Uh, really cute. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be styling with that. So I found it in uh, a room in this uh, flea market and everything was 50% off. So I got this and the board for $5, which I thought was a great find. So I was on the hunt for some fall items uh, for bowl fillers and that for a new video coming up. And I came across these uh, gorgeous ones with the feathers. I don't know what kind of feathers they are, but these are absolutely stunning with the gorgeous colors for fall. So they were the smaller ones and then there was the larger ones. And also these, um, these are gorgeous too. Uh, again, don't know what kind of feathers they are, but if anybody knows, you can let me know. Then uh, another time I found these very heavy wood ones. So this one with this design and also this one here. Um, gorgeous and can't wait to decorate with those. So a few more goodies here. Uh, these are like velour and uh, pine cones uh, made into the shape of these gorgeous little acorns. Really, really cute. They have something to hang. Uh, there's the three different colors. And I found these for $1.99 um, and they came from the Bay uh, here in Canada, one big uh, store that we have here. So this was a really fun find. 
All right, so I found these at uh, the Mission Thrift here in uh, my hometown. Um, these are gorgeous. Uh, I love the color, beautiful color brass. They're not that heavy, um, and they were only $2.99 each, uh, so I couldn't pass these up. Great shelf sitters and uh, are gonna look absolutely stunning uh, when I decorate. So I do like thrifting for brass and uh, anytime I find uh, candlesticks, that is definitely something that I grab, um, especially when they're a price for $1.99 each. So I got these, they are solid brass, and I paired them with these gorgeous kind of caramel brown uh, candles. They are sand and fog. I know these aren't thrifted, um, but but they are from HomeSense, uh, $9.99. And uh, you can, in the States, you can certainly find these um, at HomeGoods um, with multiple other colors. One thing that always reminds me of fall, and I'm not sure why, is owls. Uh, this one is beautiful, and I thought he would be great in a little vignette um, while I do some fall decorating. So he was really sweet. I found him at Value Village for $3.99. Uh, when I went out uh, to a small town uh, flea market, I found these glasses at one of the booths. Um, they were actually in the container and um, she had numerous antique finds and vintage items. And I found these glasses. Um, I've been looking for some for a while. One of the handles is, um, or arms is broken, um, but I couldn't resist this one. Uh, she gave me a deal, it was, um, $25 and uh, she gave it to me for 20. I thought it was worth it. It's something that you don't find very often here and uh, it was something that I just had to have. All right, so this is the last item guys. Thank you for sticking around. Um, this was something that was on my list to find and um, it's this beautiful large magnifying glass. Um, it looks like it's brass. Uh, with a beautiful wood handle. Um, I found this at Value Village uh, two weeks ago, actually, and um, it was only $6.99, uh, so I couldn't pass it up for that. So thank you for sticking with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and liked my finds. Uh, absolutely had a few favorites. Um, let me know what you like better. Do you like the brass horse, the golden one, or the dark horse. Um, I love them both. <laughs> I guess that's why I got them. Um, but if you guys have any questions or comments or ideas about anything that you see in this video, please leave me um, a message. I certainly love to chat with you. And uh, if you're new, I hope you please consider subscribing because uh, I have more fall videos coming along this way. Thank you. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care and we'll talk soon. Bye.